Welcome to week 19A. Set up your paper like this with your name and date in the upper right hand corner. This week's list has 18 words. This week we are going to learn mostly contractions. Contractions are the shortening, which contract means to sh make shorter, the contraction of two words. So to make a contraction, we're going to think to spell the two words all together as one word and then we're going to take usually the vowel of the second word out and replace it with an apostrophe. So let's try the first one. Number one, that's, which is the contraction for that is. So think to spell that is, but instead of the I in is, we're going to replace it with an apostrophe and then add the S. So you're going to think to spell th, at, and then the is, drop the I and add an apostrophe. And that will give you that. Spell out loud with me. That's T-H-A-T apostrophe S. That's short for that is. Number two, let's. Let's is the contraction of let us. So think to spell l e t l e t us. Drop the u and make it an apostrophe. Spell out loud. Let's. L E T apostrophe S, short for let us. Number three, I'll. That's short for I will. So think to spell I, W, I, L. Drop the I for the apostrophe. Actually, we're in this case, we're going to have the I and the W which would be whoop, these two fingers. I'll, I apostrophe LL, short for I will. The double L follows the floss rule, which says we often double F, L, and S after a single short vowel at the end of the base word. Number four, I'm. I'm getting my hair done this afternoon, short for I am. Think to spell I, A, M. Drop the A for an apostrophe. Spell out loud I'm, I apostrophe M, short for I am. Number five, can't. Contraction of cannot. They can't go outside because it's raining. Think to spell K, A, N, N, A, T. We're going to drop the N, O for an apostrophe and leave can't. Spell out loud with me. Can't. C, A, N, apostrophe T. Short for cannot. Don't. It's the contraction of do not. Please don't run in the hallway. Think to spell d, u, third sound o, n, a, t. We're going to drop the o and the not and end up with d, o, n, apostrophe t. Now the o is going to say o because it comes before two consonants. Don't. d, o, n, apostrophe t. Don't short for do not. Number seven, didn't. It's a contraction for did not. He didn't do it, but she did. Think to spell d, i, d, n, a, t. Did not all together. Drop the o and get didn't. 
think to spell, or I'm sorry, spell out loud with me, D-I-D-N apostrophe T, didn't, short for did not. Number eight, doesn't, that's the contraction of does not, she doesn't want ice cream, she wants cake. When we think to spell does, we think to spell do with an ES. It has an exception. So spell does, do with an ES, and then the n ought, doesn't, drop the O for doesn't. Spell out loud with me. D O E S. N apostrophe T doesn't short for does not number nine aren't contraction for are not we aren't going outside because it is raining Think to spell R, silent E, N, N, A, T. We drop the O and get aren't. Spell out loud with me. A R E N apostrophe T. Aren't, short for R, not. Number 10, were not. Or weren't. Weren't you going to call me last night? So we think to spell were and not. Drop the O for the apostrophe. Were, were, silent E, n, a, t. Drop the O. Spell out loud with me. Weren't. W E R E N apostrophe T. Weren't. Short for were not. Number 11. Haven't. Short for have not. He has seen my dog, but they haven't. Think to spell a v have as a silent e n a t drop the o haven't then the e doesn't become as silent we use it for the um, against the n haven't h a v e n apostrophe t haven't short for have not. 12 and 13 are homophones, which means they sound the same, but they mean something different. The first one is it's, like short for it is. I think it's, or it is, going to rain. So we think to spell it is, drop the I, it is. Drop this I for an apostrophe for the contraction. It is or its. The other its is the possessive adjective, pronoun adjective, its. The tree lost its leaves. When we have possessive nouns, we usually have an apostrophe, so this can get confusing. But possessive pronouns usually don't have apostrophe, like mine, yours, and in this case, its. So we just spell it I-T-S without the apostrophe. And let's bracket those two to show that they're related. The next three are homophones. 
the word is there. The first there is the contraction for they are. They can take the test when they're or they are ready. So for this contraction, we think to spell th, a, r, there's a silent e. We're actually going to drop the a for an apostrophe for there. So there it is. They are there. Spell out loud with me. There. T H E Y apostrophe R E. Short for they are. The next is the possessive pronoun there. Like their house belongs to them and no one else. Think to spell. Th, a, er, there. Spell there as in possessive out loud. T H E I R, there. The next there is a, as in here or there. He ran all the way from here to there. It's an adverb. Think to spell th, e, er, silent e. I remember this one because we think about here and there go together, and the word here is often is actually inside the word there, this version of there. You see the here hidden in there? All right, there, as in here or there, T-H-E-R-E, -E, there. All three of those may be bracketed together. And we have two more left. They are your and your. The first one's a contraction, short for you are. You're lucky to have your own room, or you are lucky to have your own room. So remember, we're go going to think to spell y, u, r, silent e. We're going to drop the a for your. So spell your as in you are out loud. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. The other your is the adjective, the possessive pronoun adjective. Your mom brought you your lunch when it shows it belongs to you. And that is, I think, to spell y u er your. Spell your as in the possessive pronoun. Y-O-U-R, your. -R, and 17 and 18 are homophones as well. That's the end of week 19A. Great job.